I think there's huge opportunity and upside to make tremendous amounts of money, let's be honest, uh, in the space. So if I can do something that's interesting, I can do something that's good for the planet, and I can make a good return, I don't really see anything more attractive than that. I see clean tech in a way similar to the search for oil, uh, where you've got to go wherever it is in the world. So uh, I'm involved in a lot of cooperations uh, across the globe, and I think this is a great uh, initiative that Switzerland's doing, um, trying to bring together the different pieces. And Fleet Labs is a simple but a very smart idea. A virtual green economic corridor stretching from Dublin city centre out along Metro North to Dublin's International Airport. It will connect educators, innovators and business leaders and it will deliver thousands of jobs. DAA is now working in collaboration with our neighbours in Ballymun Regeneration, DCU and DIT to develop a new green economic corridor which will focus on this new clean tech centre. In effect what we're creating is an IFSC type approach to clean tech and what we believe this will do is it, it will contribute towards the generation of economic recovery, growth and unemployment, but more particularly will give Ireland a place in the new sphere of clean tech technologies. DCU's contribution to the Greenway project, first of all DCU is very committed to it, but its major contribution will obviously be in the area of uh, research, high tech, advanced research and education. Education and training, training and upskilling people in the whole areas of green technology. DCU has a significant international reputation for working at the academic industry interface in research and we will particularly focus on the green technology research for the future. Throughout the world today, societies and countries are struggling with unprecedented issues affecting the environment and climate change. Solving these problems will require more collaboration and cooperation among the first groups and interests than maybe we've ever experienced in our lifetime. San Diego's collaborative culture is already linking scientists and entrepreneurs, making us a global leader in biotechnology, materials development, and the wireless business sectors. What we've learned about high technology areas is that one institution is not enough. We've learned that we have to collaborate with each other, we have to talk to each other, we have to exchange ideas. Not just scientists talking to each other, but scientists talking to engineers, and the politicians and the venture capitalists. Hello, Clean Tech colleagues. This is Dr. Maritan Sarkalia and my colleague, Ms. Nina Harila, from Finnish Clean Tech Club. In Finland, we have over 2,000 clean tech companies, and many of them are world market leaders in energy efficiency, bioenergy, lettering and monitoring, uh, wastewater treatment, and also solid waste management. And Finland, our country, has been selected as number one country in global sustainability indexes four times during the last year. Now we are in Lahti, and as you can see, it's freezing cold, but the clean tech business here is hot. For example, here in Lahti, we utilize over 92% of our municipal waste. We wish you all the best for the launch, and we hope to see you and collaborate in Cleantech. Bye. Bye. I'm very pleased that we can meet together because the United States and Switzerland have not only similar policies and focusing on providing incentives and training in their already developed strategies, both countries are also encouraging clean tech and the creation of green jobs as one of their priorities during the next years. So we founded the Clean Tech Alliance about 18 months ago, hoping to be able to attract investors and entrepreneurs and really connect them together uh, to create opportunities for innovation in this region. Hello Cleantech community, Here, this is Bernard Puttinger from Ecoworld Syria, Austria. In our cluster, 160 clean tech companies work together in terms of innovation, business development and exports. 
With some turnover of 5 billion euros, they grow at an average speed of 20% per year, faster than the markets. Altogether, they form a leading clean tech concentration, being regarded as the green tech valley of Europe. We are looking forward to cooperation with you. Cheers. My name is Ed Bogish. I'm Executive Director of Syracuse COE, a Center of Excellence in Environmental and Energy Systems. Syracuse COE is a collaborative organization that brings together industry and universities and other partners to accelerate innovations.